Hey friends and welcome back to my art studio. So today we're going to be doing another part of the series of where I go on a journey of painting a whole deck of cards, Disney. Um, so I have my own personal card deck painted by me with all of my favorite Disney movies. Um, just a little recap of the other ones that I've done. Um, I did Frozen, which I didn't do a video over. Um, so you can't see that video. But then I also did Stitch, and we also have done Moana. So normally we do four cards per video, so each um, movie gets like a number um, in all the suits, and that is how we do things around here. Last video I asked everyone to comment um, a movie that they would want me to do on the next one, and someone said Snow White, and I was like, wait, that's a great idea because I would love to paint the dwarfs, like they're so stinking cute. This was also my um, late grandma's favorite movie, and she always had like Snow White stuff around the house, and it just kind of like made me really want to, so when I saw your comment April, I was like, I have to do it. So April won the comment of last time, so make sure that, um, comment down below what movie you would want me to paint next and you might just win. So yeah, let's get started. Let's paint some dwarfs. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is take some washi tape and tape off the edges so that we have a nice crisp line around the design. Um, I like to have this because like on normal cards, it's like that. Also, if you haven't seen my other videos, yes, I use Uno cards because when I started this journey, <laughs> it's all I had around the house. Um, so I started off with five cards this time because um, I had the idea that since we only did three cards for Moana, maybe I could do an extra dwarf. Um, but I ended up changing my mind and just doing four cards. So yeah, we start with Snow White, and if you haven't seen this video before, which I know I just said, geez, sorry, um, I usually do transfers. So what you do is have a printed image, you scribble on it with pencil exactly like this, just cover the entire page, wherever the image is that you're going to trace, just make sure it has pencil behind it. And then when you lay it back on your surface and you trace over it, um, just trace over like the exact outline of it. Um, underneath it you will have a really nice sketch but when you're sketching it just make sure you get like all the details like make sure you're putting everything in spot because sometimes when you place it back you can't find the right spot but now you can see that you have like this nice little sketch um, to follow and it makes um, it a lot easier than trying to just like freehand sketch um, it just takes a lot longer to freehand sketch. I've had troubles in the past with um, matching skin color and I think I did an okay job with Snow White. I actually think I did her a little bit darker than she needed to be, but the overall product looks fine. So I'm not like mad about it, but she definitely is a, a bit more fair than this. That's why she's called Snow White because she has snow like skin or whatever. But um, yeah, she's, she doesn't have snow like skin here. It's not, it's not that fair. <laughs> Snow White was a big thing in my childhood because it was my grandma's favorite movie and so she always had this like beautiful like Snow White ceramic set in her garden that had all the dwarfs and Snow White and they sat in the flowers and it was just a really nice memory that I had with my grandma and she just always had Snow White stuff, Snow White books, the Snow White movie. So it was just like a big part of my childhood because of her. So um, when I saw April's comment, I just had to do it. I was like, I can't make a Disney card deck without including Snow White. So um, I'm really happy that she said that. Starting with this sleeve, um, I did the wrong color blue and I colored them both in this light blue. You can tell with the reference picture that it's not the same color that I needed. So I do go back and kind of like change I do go back and make the color a little bit more like it's supposed to be I know I say this every single time but I have to say it every single time um, paintings get better the more layers you put and the more things you put and the more outlines and everything so like right now I know she looks really creepy and scary don't click off the video I promise that she looks more like herself at the end she looks terrifying right now she looks like a monster she looks like a three-year-old maybe drew her like I get it she's scary but that's just how paintings go you have to keep going you have to keep putting layers don't give up on your painting just keep going <laughs> Don't just give up because it starts looking crazy because as soon as you grab that outline pin and you start outlining it, boom, it looks like this. 
How big of a difference is that? <laughs> And then the oddly satisfying tape pull of the crisp line. that I'm gonna do is the grumpy dwarf um, I always really liked him he always had so much personality I think that he's just cute and funny and like I don't know I feel like we all have a grumpy side of us or a grumpy person we know that we can compare this to and I just think it's cute um, I think all the dwarfs are cute but I had to pick three of my favorites so you get to figure out which ones those are today um, so yeah the angry one is definitely one of my favorites um, Something that I never realized before until I was painting the dwarfs was that their noses are like completely different colors than the rest of their face. I don't know if as a kid I just never paid attention to stuff like that or what, but whenever I was looking I was like, oh, I've never realized that their noses are completely different shades than their face. Which is cute, I like it, it's a great design feature, I just never paid attention to it or realized it. Also, has anyone ever realized that his sideburn, his sideburn and his hair are all the same with his beard? Like, there's no breaking point. It's just one giant thing. I thought that that was pretty funny. <laughs> also, looking at his hat, I wonder how much hair he actually has underneath that hat. Like, just out of curiosity. I just want to know. Because he has a lot of beard hair. So, I wonder if that hat is full of hair or if it's just an empty little sack. I don't know. Also, something else that I noticed is that their shoes look like bread loaves. All of them. All of the dwarf shoes look like bread loaves. It looks like they just got a loaf of bread and stuck their foot in it. And I think that that is hilarious. I've never noticed that. Has anyone else ever noticed how funny their shoes look? I mean, like, I love it and it's really funny, but I love thinking of it as bread loaves. Like, it looks exactly like a bread loaf. And then my favorite and the best part that pulls it all together, the outlining. The outline always just brings so much expression and it just brings the character to life. I know I say it every time, but I can't help it. It is my favorite and it really does just change the entire look of a project. It's just getting a nice crisp outline on it. I know that some artists don't use outlines, but they use shading and stuff instead, but having a black outline is definitely my forte. And next is Doc. I tried to change the perspective of the camera here and I realized that my hand is actually just really in the way the entire time. I wanted to kind of have like a fun um, different camera angles. I know some people have like two camera angles, I only have one camera, so I thought that for different cards I could change the perspective. Um, but this perspective just didn't work out and it's just like my hand's just so in the way. So I had to cut the footage down a little bit just because, I mean, my hand was just so in the way the entire time. And it's just like, no one wants to just look at that ratchet tattoo on my finger, you know? So um, we speed through this one a little bit faster, but bread loaf shoes and he's just the cutest. Doc is one of my favorites as well. I could not have him in his little glasses. Next is Dopey. Um, I picked this one because it was my grandma's favorite. She loved him. She had a lot of like merch and stuff with him on it. Um, so I could not put him, especially thinking of my late grandma whenever I was painting these cards. I was like, I can't not do Dopey. So <laughs> I definitely picked him. He is really cute with his little ears and his little bear face. He's like the only one that doesn't have hair on his face. And I like his color scheme too, like most of the other ones are like, well they all have earth tones, but this one like adds in a purple, and I like that he stands out a little bit more. I really love that. And I just like appreciate the designs of these characters a lot more now that I'm paying more attention to them, because as a kid like you have these nostalgic memories and stuff, but now that I'm like, actually paying attention to the design of the characters and like the color palettes and like the way that they're designed with the giant ears and stuff, like I feel like I appreciate the design a lot more. Um, I will say that 
color matching his outfit was a little hard as like a really gross green color um so I do add a little bit of yellow to try to like lighten it up a little bit but even in the original like picture it's not a great green <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that color green it just kind of looks nasty to me um, it's not like a cute earth tone green it's almost like a poop green if you know what I'm saying it's just kind of gross I'm not a big fan and of course I'm gonna say it one more time the black outline is the best thing ever you add a black you can fix anything with a black outline <laughs> That hand is disturbing, <laughs> very disturbing. And then I had to add in all of the card numbers since these are UNO cards, they don't have the um, suits on them already. I decided to make all of the snow white ones the nines, so I just did all four of them got a nine and then whatever suit I decided to do, spades, heart, diamonds, puppy dog, whatever's, you know what I'm saying. And with the red ones, I have to like color it in. The, the thinnest thing I could find to color in the black outline was this um, lead pencil. So I just dipped my lead pencil in the red paint and colored it in so that we could have like the red suits and the black suits. I wish I had a red micron, micron marker. I'll probably get one in the future. And to seal it all together, we do a um, coat of Mod Podge on all of them. Voila, this is the finished product. I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. I think they're super cute. Um, I think that my favorite card out of this set is definitely Dopey. I think that his character just turned out the best. I think he just looks the most crisp and um, more like his character. All right, and this is the final product. I'm actually like pretty proud with how they turned out, especially the dwarfs. Snow White looks a little weird. I was comparing Snow White to the other princesses that I've done, and I realized that I did her a lot smaller on the card than the other ones, um, which that's okay, but they got like super profile picture, like zoomed in things, and she kind of got like a more zoomed out one. And I think it's because whenever I was sizing the picture, I really wanted her to hold the bird, so it kind of like had to get her arm in there. I don't really know. It doesn't look bad, it just looks like different in contrast, which is, whatever I don't know um, I am pretty happy with how they turned out I don't think that it's the best out of all the sets that I've done but I think that they still look cute and they look, work pretty good with my card deck so like I said before make sure you comment down below what movie anything Disney Pixar anything like that comment it down below and maybe I will paint it on the next set and that's about it for me today guys um, I post videos every single week so make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys next time bye Falling